Well, hello there, beautiful shrimp people. In today's video, we are going to be doing some shrimp tank tested videos because you guys all know, right, that we do a vlog style video now. And I thought today, right, we'd start the beginning of our testing series where we test different stuff in our shrimp tanks, right? I'm in the position now where I can actually test certain things, uh, different pro products and whatever else in my tanks without it impacting the animals in the tank because I have quite a few spare tanks, right? So today, we're gonna take this 40 liter tank over here and we are going to see, guys, if we can increase its biofilm, right? So if we can manage to increase its biofilm, then we can increase the, the algae buildup that's on the sides. And therefore, we should be able to increase um, our baby shrimp survival, right? Because it's one thing I've always struggled with is trying to get enough biofilm in my tanks for some reason. I don't know if it's just not enough light or not enough of the right things going into the tank. But guys, but one of the things... I did notice before was that when we were doing our lactobacillus uh, dosing, there was a big boom in the green walls. You guys probably all noticed that as well. This tank over here it was very, very evident. All the walls went super green, right? So I looked more and more into it to see why is this? Why is this happening, right? And it turns out that sugar is a good source of energy for biofilm. It makes sense, right? So I was doing some further research on this myself and I came across some stuff on the back of packaging, let me just show you this. On the back of uh, Bacteria E. And guys, I don't want to take away from what these guys have done for the hobby and whatever else. But I, I'm, I simply want to learn what it is that makes stuff work and whatever else like that, right? So um, I googled all the ingredients on this and I learned what they were. There's a lot of enzymes and stuff in here. And the one that stuck out for me specifically on this was uh, polysaccharins, right, which is a type of sugar, right, so that led me going on to um, how can I find a source of this polysaccharins, polysaccharins, I don't know the exact way to say it, if I'm saying it wrong, someone will correct me in the comment section below, I wanted to see if we could possibly source this, and I did, I actually managed to find a source, and guys, it is a very easy source to get, and it's probably one of the better sources that you could probably use, and it is here, look. This is agar, agar, right? And the thing that struck me about this, guys, is it, it, all these little things that you think about lead on to something else. I knew that agar, agar was used in uh, bacterial plates to grow bacteria, right? But it never, it never struck me that polysaccharins was the reason why the, the bacteria grew on this stuff in the first place. So this is what we're going to try today. As I said, we have a tank down here. It is... 40 litres, just let me have a quick look guys, it is 40 litres, it has a little bit of ADA Amazona soil in it, it's been set up roughly for about one month and it has one big sponge filter in it, I'm going to show you the tank in a minute as well because I think it's important if we do these shrimp tank tested videos that you actually see the before and after right, as I said this is going to be a vlog style video so you won't see the complete outcome to date in this video but you will see it in a future video, which if this works, guys, it will probably be, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks, something like that. Fingers crossed it does work because, as I said, I've always struggled with forming biofilm on our aquarium walls, right? And this makes sense that this would work, right? Because I've seen evidence in other food products that claim to make biofilm. And then when you Google it, you're like, oh, my God, all this stuff suddenly makes sense. Right? So we're going to try this today. Um, I'm going to add some of this into some tank water. I'm going to boil the tank water first and then I'm going to add this to it. I'm going to add it, guys, in what I reckon is the smallest dose possible because I don't want people to be going gung-ho into their tanks and just firing this into tanks with shrimp in it and causing all kinds of problems because this could possibly have negative side effects in the tank. So we must test it thoroughly, right? So we're going to use or a tiny little scoop like this, right? So I know for a fact that when I'm dosing different things, this little flat scoop here is roughly 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 grams. So that is what we're going to use today. That is the amount. So we're going to use one flat level scoop of this into our little jug over here. This is going to be filled with boiling hot water. We're going to stir it up and let it cool down. And then we're going to add it evenly across the tank, right? And then we're going to see what happens in future weeks coming. So that's what you've got in store for today, guys. All right, my awesome saw shrimp plate. So here's the tank. I'm showing you the top first because we have two lights on the top. Let me just lift you up so you can see. It has plenty of light, adequate light for a shrimp tank. And 
Yeah, it has a big sponge filter on the back. You can see there's quite adequate flow here, adequate flow. And in the middle we have ADA Amazonia. And you can see this is a bare bottom tank, guys. And what's peculiar about this tank is, it is the only tank I have where the bottom is plastic. I've had this tank a very long time and I just happened to get this tank like this. And you know, I never really noticed until I cleaned the tank out one day and I thought, oh my God, this tank has a plastic bottom. Never leaked though, so just goes to show. Anywho, let's have a look at the stuff on the side because this is what we're interested in here. And you can see there's a little bit of algae growth. And guys, I want you to note this as well because yeah, when we come back here in seven days, we will see how much this has improved. Right, and you can see here guys as well, right, there's very, very little uh, algae growth on the ceramic rings and these are quite, normally these would go quite green like this one over here, look. You see it, this one's quite green. So this tank just lacks a little bit of something. And we're going to see if by us adding agar agar, if we can increase biofilm on the sides and over all the objects that are in here. And hopefully guys, this will lead on to a little bit more green walls appearing and whatever else in the tank right so there is the tank all right shrimp let's let's get this done i'm going to use the microwave for this let's get our water hopefully you can see all the ingredients and stuff here get you out of the way or agar agar let's grab some tank water and i've no doubt guys that you could probably use you could probably use uh, tap water and stuff for this, but yeah, we, I'm just going to play it a wee bit safe and we're going to use our water like this. Let's grab some agar agar. As I said, uh, we are going to use a minimal amount, which is I reckon is about 0 0.1 grams. Which is, in the, our case, is just a flat level spoon like this, right? And agar is made from seaweed I do believe. Right, so we're going to add it in like this. Now agar in the water like this won't dissolve so we're going to need to heat this up right. And what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to run away here with this water and I'm going to heat it up in the microwave for I don't know a minute give it a stir and heat it up again for a minute and give it a stir. Okay I'll be back in one second. Alright shrimp fam so here is our solution here. You can probably see the steam coming off it. Now I did contemplate whether or not that we should actually add our agar to boiling hot water because yeah, th this isn't to set the agar, it's not for that guys, it is to just make sure that our sugars that, come, that are coming from the agar, the polysaccharins are actually uh, dissolved evenly in this amount of water right? because I don't want it to be where we add our agar powder to the tank and it is, it is hard for it to dissolve. I want this to spread as evenly throughout the tank as possible. In future videos, I don't know, we might actually just add it straight from the packet like this and see how it goes, but yeah, we'll do it like this for now. In the meantime guys, we've got to let this, we've got to let it cool down a little bit before I add it to the tank. I'm not comfortable adding boiling hot water straight to a tank like this. I don't think it would actually do anything to the tank because you can imagine like if you put your hand in under the water surface like this and then if you poured this on top you probably wouldn't even feel it but um yeah just let's uh let's wait a little while before we add this in at least until it's like lukewarm or something like that right so that that'll be a good i don't know five ten minutes something like that and that'll give me plenty of time to drink my coffee so let me know in the comment section what you're thinking of our shrimp tank tested video this is probably our first one i know we've always done little experiments like this but I think this is the proper one guys, the proper one where we've actually thought this through and this could be very beneficial for our shrimp. Guys, I came up with this little idea on how to cool your boiling hot water down faster. Come and have a look at the sink. You might be able to apply this to the way you do it. So all I've done here is I've taken our agar solution that's in hot water and I've actually placed it into another jug that contains cold water and this should cool this water down faster. Aren't I a genius? <laughs> okay, so I think our little solution here is lukewarm enough for us to add it into our tanker. I'm making sure to give it a little stir. So our agar agar solution shall now be dissolved into all this water. So let's evenly add it to the tank surface down here. Let's go. Okay, guys, here is our solution. I do apologize if you hear any noise in the background. The washing machine is on. Hopefully it won't come on while I'm adding this in. Right, So let's add it evenly 
across our tank. I'm going to try and just make sure I spread it around all the surfaces like this, not on top of the lights. And yeah, we shall see if this actually does anything or not. It should do. I would imagine it should do. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. So there you have it guys, there is our first shrimp tank tested video. Let me bring you down a little bit there so you're not so high up in the sky. Uh, there is our first shrimp tank tested video to see if we can actually make our biofilm grow more by adding agar agar to the tank which in itself gives the tank more polysaccharins. I hope I said that right there. Polysaccharins which is a type of sugar. Uh, so what you will see guys here is maybe in a week or two we'll do another update on this. And guys, if we see nothing, I'm not giving up on it yet, what we'll do is we'll just simply increase the dosage because I, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. I am pretty sure. So there you have it, beautiful shrimp people. If you've enjoyed today's video and you would like to like the video and subscribe, then please do that. If you'd love to become a channel member and help my channel grow by funding it a little bit by easily becoming a member, then please do that as well. And guys, I hope you have an awesome week or day or whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll see you all in the next one. Happy shrimp keeping.